If you want to transform your Raspberry Pi into a powerful web server, then in this tutorial, I will guide you step by step how to set up and host your own website on Raspberry Pi easily. So follow my step. Okay, so first of all, you just need to go to your browser and search for raspberrypi.com. Simply open raspberrypi.com and after that, click on software. Now scroll down a little bit and you will get Raspberry Pi Images software. Simply download the Raspberry Pi Images software on your computer first. You have to install Raspberry Pi Images software. Click on yes. Now click on install. Now it will take a few seconds. And after that click on finish. And it will open Raspberry Pi Images software. Now you have to go to the same website. And now this time scroll down and click on see all download options. Now you just need to download Raspberry Pi image or file. So as you can see here is the Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit. As you can see bookworm. So simply I will download this one, this portion. And as you can see it is downloading. So after download done. You need to extract that archive file on your computer. Simply right click and extract. Now simply you need to open that Raspberry Pi images software. Now click on choose device. Here you just need to select your Raspberry Pi version. In my case it is Raspberry Pi 4. Now select choose a file and click on use custom and select that IMG file which you have extract on your computer. So in my case here it is under download folder as you can see. Now click on choose storage and you have to select your micro SD card. Now click on next. Here I will click on edit settings. Now set your host name over here. In my case I am setting over here technology.local and after that check that username and password. So username in my case I will set here technology and password I will select here 123. You can configure your wireless LAN if you have Wi-Fi on your home. So I will type my home router SID means Wi-Fi name over here and after that put the password. Now I'll set the local settings mean local time zone settings after that click on services. Now enable the SSH make sure that this option is checked and here play sound when finished click on OK and click on yes. Now it will take some time so you have to wait for a few minutes. So after installation done click on continue and unplug your micro SD card to your computer. Now after that you need to go to your router page and copy your uh, Raspberry Pi IP address and after that go to your CMD and type SSH space technology in my case my username is technology you have to put your username and at the date your IP after that put the password and as you can see I'm successfully logged into my uh, Raspberry Pi and first I will update and upgrade my Raspberry Pi. For that I have to type sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade minus y. All the command I will uh, provide on my video description or else you can go to my website. The link I, I will provide on my video description and after that you will get all the command. Here I have mentioned all the commands as you can see. So now what you have to do you just need to full upgrade use full upgrade command. For that you just need to type sudo apt full upgrade full minus upgrade. Now you have to install MariaDB and PHP and Apache. For that you need to copy the command from my video description and paste it on your terminal. And after that press enter. Now press Y and press enter. Now after done you need to enable Apache for that you just need to type the command is called sudo space systemctl space enable space apache2 and after that press enter. Now I have to start Apache for that you just need to type sudo space systemctl space task space apache2. After done you just need to type the command to install mysql for that you just need to type sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. After that press enter from your keyboard. Now here is a here is showing like you have to put your current password. So I'll press enter. And I will press uh, type over here no switch to Unix socket. Now change root password. I'll type over here UI and press enter. Now I have to put my new password and press enter. In my case I am setting here one two three. 
Now remove anonymous mouse user, you have to type Y and enter. Disallow root login, you have to press Y, then Y, and then Y, and press enter. So now I have to create the database for MySQL. For that, I have to log into MySQL. The command will be sudo space MySQL space minus U space root space minus P and press enter. After that, put your root password and enter. As you can see, I have successfully logged into my RDP. So now what I have to do, you just need to go to my website and copy the create database command, which is create database. The database name will be WordPress, as you can see. Now put the next command over here, copy from my uh, website and as you can see here is my password and which is one two three four five six seven eight you can change any and here is my what uh, username now I have to give uh, means grant all the privilege permissions so the copy the the third command and press enter now to flash then exit now I have to use change directory command to uh, go under HTML folder. For that, the command will be cd space slash uh, words slash www slash HTML. So now, now I'm under uh, HTML folder. So now I will use remove command to remove index.html file. The command will be sudo space rm space index.html and press enter. After that, I have to download the latest WordPress uh, uh, tar file. So you can uh, get that command from my video description. And after that, press enter. Now, as you can see, it is downloading. So you have to wait for a few seconds. After download, if I'll type ls command, as you can see, my file is showing over here. So now I will uh, uh, put the command to un uh, unzip that file. Okay, so the command will be sudo tar space minus uh, xvzf, then the name of WordPress tar file. After done, I have to move that WordPress. For that, uh, I have to type sudo space mb space WordPress slash star. Next, I have to use rm minus rf command to uh, remove that latest tar archive file. After that, I have to give uh, put the chown command over here. So I'll copy from my website. So I, after that, I have to give that folder permissions. So I have to put chmod command. Lastly, I have to edit the w, wp-config.php file. Here, you just need to uh, press down arrow key. And after that, change the database name over here. So database name in my case, it is WordPress. So I'll type over here, WordPress. Username is WP user. Now I have to put my database password, which is in my case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And DB host is local host, as you can see. After that, press Control O to uh, change the file and Control X to exit that window. Now, after done, I will put my IP address over here to check the WordPress site is working or not. So, as you can see, it's, it is working. So now I'll click on continue. Now here I will put my site uh, address. In my case, it is technology. Username is also technology in my case. You can put any password over here. And after that, you have to put your email ID over here. Now after that, click on WordPress, install WordPress and click on login. Now put your username over here and password which you have set during installation. Now, as you can see, I'm successfully logged into my WordPress panel and I will active this theme. Now I'll open that uh, IP to check why website is working or not. Uh, sorry, uh, 20. So as you can see, the website is working perfectly.